Mr. Atkinson, thank you first of all for your attendance this evening. Yeah, I believe personally it was a great event. I would like first of all your opinion, but also could you in a, in a few words just recapture for us your message to tonight's um, audience, tonight's commemoration. Well, I thank them for their friendship. It was almost an accidental friendship that, that occurred uh, when as Minister for Multicultural Affairs I decided to unveil and speak at the opening of a plaque attached to the wall of the South Australian Migration Museum in Adelaide commemorating uh, the Pontian Genocide. Uh, up until that point uh, I hadn't had any connection really with the Armenian community uh, which in, in Adelaide is very small. I only have one Armenian in my entire electorate out of 25,000 people. I, I met her the other week uh, and as far as I can tell not one Assyrian but I'm still looking for one. Uh, the reaction of the Turkish Embassy in Australia uh, and its uh, friends in Parliament was what brought me into uh, the cause and that, at that backlash against the rather uh, innocent uh, action of mine in unveiling the plaque is what brought me into this, uh, this issue. Please elaborate, please elaborate for us on this, on the backlash. Um, I gave a, an address at the University of Adelaide the week that the motion was going to go through Parliament. And my, some of my work was quoted by yourself and by a few others on the POWs in the, in the parliamentary debate. So what was, what were the arguments? Because in your address to the, to the Parliament, in your motion, in your supporting speech, in the other speakers, they all used historical documentation, Australian historical documentation, to argue for the motion. The Turkish Embassy, what was its arguments in opposition to this motion? Well, first of all, there were, were emails coming into my uh, office from people whom I didn't know uh, and had no previous experience of. Some emails direct from Turkey uh, and from other states in Australia. Uh, I also uh, had a, a, a member of the Australian Senate from my own state, uh, Senator uh, Alan Ferguson, who in a uh, after-dinner style speech in the Senate uh, criticised me very personally and trenchantly for unveiling the, uh, uh, the plaque. And I was very surprised by, by that because I, I didn't think anyone who was in an Australian parliament would have the temerity to argue that the genocide didn't occur, or if it did, it was so long ago, and that Turkey, the Republic of Turkey, was now a friend of Australia and an economic uh, uh, partner, a trading partner, uh, a powerful country, that uh, we should forget about this because of that. I hadn't seen the argument made quite so uh, brazenly. Uh, and then because it was also a personal attack on me for unveiling the plaque, uh, it's then that I uh, did my research and thought, well, really, this, this needs a, a resolution of the South Australian Parliament to put the matter to rest. And, I'll be very, and I would have been very interested if any South Australian par parliamentarian had come out and repeated Senator Alan Ferguson's argument. I think one did privately but didn't have the gumption to do it on the floor of the House. So that was the chain of events and then eventually the Pontian uh, Federation in Greece was kind enough to invite me to, to Greece to speak at a rally uh, in uh, Agia Sophia Square in Thessaloniki uh, and uh, I did that uh, and it was uh, uh, the highlight of uh, my, my parliamentary life to do that. I will never speak um, to such a big crowd unless perhaps I, I grab the microphone at the AFL Grand Final. Which is unlikely. Only one of the only one of the Adelaide teams is actually in the grand final, and we will be this year. Only one of them. <laughs> I'm not going to dare to ask which one because I have no idea about AFL. I just know that there's two teams. Um, with your address to Thessaloniki, in Thessaloniki, you've gone down, and you will go down in history as the motivator of the first formal recognition by an Australian jurisdiction of the Greek genocide. How was, what was the reception like in Thessaloniki? I mean, it is 
a massive gathering every year, every May. What was the reception like? This person from a rather small jurisdiction in, yes. in the other side of the world coming to the centre of, well, the new centre of modern Pondy and Hellenism yes. and talking about the genocide. It's like, what was their reception? How did they respond? Well, the, the reception was very uh, uh, generous. They made me uh, feel uh, at ease. Uh, the warm-up was extended because every um, political party in Greece, and that's a lot of parties, was, I, I gather it's even more now, but uh, every party was represented uh, there and invited to speak. Um, it, I don't think it would have happened quite like that in, in Australia. Uh, the Kappa Kappa A representative speech was rather controversial and uh, didn't really talk much about the genocide, talked about the Americans uh, and led to, as I recall, a full bottle of Coke being thrown at her uh, on stage. But this was all good political theatre, it was all a good uh, warm-up and a preparation uh, for me. Uh, and uh, I'd thought very deeply about what I was going to say. Uh, and I said it, uh, and uh, it, it was uh, well received. And uh, I remember it with great fondness, and particularly trying to fight my way through the crowd at the end and having um, a comboloi thrust into my, my hands. I still have several sets of comboloi as a result of, uh, of that meeting. But I was impressed by the willingness of Greek people to get out on the streets and have a full blooded political discussion uh, in, I think, spring uh, on, a, on a spring evening something Australians wouldn't do um, to it's been a long night so we'll we'll have one last question professor Tats in his address made some recommendations for the future he goes this is the, this is the first time in the in Parliament House let's go on from here as an experienced parliamentarian what are, your, what are some of your recommendations, some of your suggestions for where to from here? Well, the, the, the first thing would be to try to get resolutions carried in other, other parliaments, and that's going to be uh, harder where there are bigger uh, Turkish communities as there are in Melbourne and Sydney, but, but not impossible. Um, and I think that that the Greeks abroad should take every opportunity to engage with Anatolia, every opportunity to have a right of return to visit, uh, to celebrate the liturgy uh, as they did recently, which is just a, a tremendous thing. Uh, and, and ultimately, if, if they wish uh, to, to settle in that region, as is insofar as that is possible, uh, and to maintain uh, a, a connection with it uh, a, against a day where there might be a, a, a possibility of, of some return. So, uh, you know, get back to your roots and, and, and get back there and, and see where your ancestors lived and do what you can to maintain uh, what is left of that civilization. Mr Atkinson, thank you once again for your support and I'm sure it won't be the last time that we'll be talking. Get with